Hey guys, this video is some really great easy tips to edit your photos on the iPhone. If you've ever wondered why some people upload some really great looking images all the time, it's probably down to editing. Of course, the image quality and the lighting has a big part to play, but editing is the final cherry on top and can really change an image. So I wanna go through some of the basics on how to actually start editing images. And these tips really go in order as well from really what you should start doing all the way to the end to get the look that you want. And we're gonna start off with changing the experience exposure of the image. I'm gonna come straight into the photos app then and just uh, change the exposure on a self-portrait of me. So this is it, we come to edit right here and uh, the photos app actually has some really good options these days. So changing the exposure is like priming a wall that you're gonna paint, you have to do that first. So you can actually change the exposure either to the left or right to turn it down or up. But what I would recommend is actually going over here and changing the highlights and the shadows separately. You can see highlights and shadows. Highlights are the bright bits, shadows are the dark bits. And you wanna get these right before you make any other edits. So you can just slide this to the left maybe to bring the highlights down. You can see that more color comes into the image and you don't want it too bright. So just change this by eye. With more professional apps, you will actually get some scopes and you can actually see uh, on a chart what the exposure is. You can't do that in this app, so you're gonna have to do it by eye, but you can see that the image was actually overexposed right here. So I've turned it down, then we come to shadows and we just use a slider and I can probably turn this down as well. If you now just click on the image once, it goes back to the original. You can see that I've definitely made it uh, just a bit darker and it just looks a bit better overall. So once you've got your exposure done and you think, yeah, that's right, you can then go to add some other filters or other looks on top. Okay, second tip is to always expose for the subject of the image. So the subject in this case is me and that has to look right and you can actually expose it differently. So the background, let's say if I actually just brought this up and made the background uh, just slightly brighter. So I said that's probably good for the background. I can just change the highlights and say, I actually really, really like the background. I think it's exposed well. The problem is you can see me, I just don't really look that good. I'm kind of overexposed. So even though the background looks really good, the eye isn't looking at the background. And so the eye can forgive over or under exposure in parts that aren't the subject. But for the subject, you have to make sure that is absolutely exposed perfectly because people want to see the subject. So we're just gonna turn these down. And even though the background for me isn't kind of standing out in any way, the subject is exposed for properly and that's the main thing. So always exposed for the subject. And the other things, they can be a little bit bad looking, but that's all right because people are focusing on that subject. Next tip is to adjust the image. So I'm actually just gonna press done on this image. I'm happy to uh, edit it like this. I'm actually gonna come out of this application, then we're gonna swipe over and just come into Photoshop Express for this. So we're gonna come into here, then we're going to uh, just upload this image. And the best thing that I can do here is just to resize it and crop it and see if we can just get it looking a little bit better in that way. So you can come and crop it. Now you can do this in the Photos app as well. You don't need an app like Photoshop, but you can just see is changing the crop going to work? So there's actually a lot of space around this self-portrait that I don't need. So I can just maybe crop this in and see if that will maybe look a little bit better. You can also make sure that it's really square on. So if I just come out of here, we'll go back into the Photos app and we'll maybe see one of the other photos. So we'll just go in to this one right here. This one for me looks really great. There's a few issues. Firstly, we can change the exposure, but we can also come and make sure that it's cropped well. I'm gonna come over to crop like this. You can see that Apple actually straightens it for you, which is really great. So you can make it a little bit wonky. You can straighten it up. I can actually put it a couple ways just only to the right here. So minus one, I think actually looks a little bit better and it's slightly straighter overall. I'm just gonna adjust the cropping right here. We can also come through and change these as well. So you can actually change the plane that the image is on. So you can actually just move it up like this. And I think that actually looks a little bit better overall. It's kind of uh, just the right plane now that we can use on. And I can just zoom out, pinch and zoom out because I kind of want the whole image. And I think that just looks a tiny little bit better than the original image in terms of how it's put on screen. Next is to use an app that gives you a lot more control over the exposure of your images. So the Photos app that Apple gives you is good. But if we come over to something like Snapseed, you get some really intricate things that you can change. 
We're just gonna open the photo right here. We're gonna choose this one again. And you can definitely see some overexposure. You see this graph right here. On the right hand side, that's representative of this overexposure right here. So we can actually just click off this, come to tools right now, and then we can come to curves. Now cur curves are a way to really, uh, really intricately change different parts of the exposure of the image. On the right hand side is highlights and on the left hand side is shadows. We wanna to come to the right hand side then and drag the highlights down a bit. So we're gonna drag this down. I'm just gonna do it with my finger a little bit and you can see this is too much. Just a little bit, I think, just brings in a little bit more of the detail and we can probably actually go further up into the highlights, bring those down as well. This is gonna look strange, but you can see how the curve now changes. So you're just trying to bring as much detail back in those highlights as you can. And then you can come down to the shadows and maybe bring them up a bit because they've obviously come down. So you can change these, just get that exposure right. But this is a much more intricate way of doing it. So if you know how to use curves, you can actually get a better image overall. Next is to change the white balance of an image, which is really, really important. And the best way to describe this is either if you want a warm feeling or a cool feeling. So with white balance, you can either go towards yellows or warm tones or blues or cool tones. So that's actually quite easy to do. We'll stick in the Snapseed app, we'll come to tools. We'll then go over to the white balance option right here. And to very easily show you, you can come up here and just really drag this to the right hand side. And that's a really, really warm look. And then we can drag it to the left hand side and it's gonna be very cool. There's no right and wrong here, it's just a look. So maybe if you do really want a wintry type of look, you can move that white balance to the left hand side. And if you want a summery kind of look, this kind of looks vintage already, you can move it to the right hand side. Once you've got that white balance set up, you can then go in and sort out your LUTs or your filters. So once you've got the look set up and you think, yep, this is how I want the white balance, this is how I want the exposure, you can just press tick on there and then come and put filters on. So we can come down to looks and a lot of filters on here are gonna be really quite strong. So you can flick through them and see if they're going to just give a look and a sense of a feeling that you might want my opinion on most filters is that they're too strong and you wanna just really lay off them. So the best way to do that is really not use filters in Snapseed. So we're gonna come out of Snapseed. I really like Snapseed for getting uh, exposure and white balance correct, but you can come to something like Lightroom, which is I think better to put some filters on. Click allow access, I'm gonna choose this awesome autumnal image. And what I mean by giving a feeling is that we can come down and see all of the options that we saw in Snapseed. So you can come and actually change the light, remember the exposure, the contrast. So we changed those in Snapseed before in the other ones. You can turn the exposure up or down a little bit. You can change the contrast, but what we really wanna do is change the color of it. So this is an autumnal image, so we really want the temperature of the image to maybe be a bit warmer and just go towards maybe yellows, oranges, and reds. We can then change the temperature up a little bit towards the warmer side to bring out some of those colors. You can probably turn the vibrance and saturation up a little bit as well because we are wanting to bring out those colors. And then what we can do is come to grading or mix. So let's come to grading first. And this will really help you take colors out of each of the individual parts of the image. So we've got shadows right here, got midtones, and we have highlights. We probably want to go to midtones and just switch these to a red color. Obviously this is too much, but this would not look right. This would maybe be like a spring type of look and that's not what this image is. So we probably want to just turn it a little bit towards the orange side for those midtones and bring out all of those orangey and reddish type of colors. We'll go to highlights, maybe turn this over as well. And you can see instantly if I just press on done, not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but definitely this looks more autumnal. So you can change all of the filters, colors, and looks individually. You don't have to use presets after you've changed exposure and white balance. Then the last tip is just to give you all the apps that I use or have used for editing photos that I think are really good. So for sure, Lightroom, Photoshop, Snapseed, Photoshop Mix is also really good, and Visco for some extra filters. Visco is actually a really good editor. You don't have to use a social network. There are some really good free apps that you can use, including the Photos app from Apple that I think can get you kind of 80% of the way there. Once you know how to do it, change exposure first and then go through the steps, I think you can get some really great looking images overall. They are though my really simple photo editing tips for the iPhone. I hope they were helpful for you. If they were, please subscribe for way more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.